broadcasting from the fabulous Stardust Lanes in Minneapolis, Minnesota, Comedy Central Sports presents Let's Bowl. Today, two fierce competitors bring their bitter dispute to our lanes. Ann West says the Michael Jackson clock is hers. Derek Wildey says, tough, he paid for it. Who will end up with this object they acquired while they were still dating? It all ends right here, right now, on America's favorite indoor bowling show. Let's go! in Minneapolis and Let's Bowl. That's My right. name is Steve Choppers at all. And I'm Wally Hotman. We have an interesting show. It's downright weird. Even I think it's weird, Wally. Here's the deal. It's a couple. They're now broken up. But uh -huh. when they were together, uh -huh. they acquired a clock that looks right. like Michael Jackson. Right. Now they broke up. Yeah. She has the clock. Uh -huh. He says, I want it back. He says, I paid for it. It's mine. She said, uh-uh, it was a gift. We're going to find out who gets the clock tonight. Well, you know, Chopper, I've seen that clock. And it doesn't even look like Michael Jackson. It looks more like Dan Haggerty from, uh, from Grizzly Adams. You know, with that mule and the alcoholic trapper and the, and that Indian with the powers. I think his name was Huggy Bear. And think, it was really funny. Well, well, really well, funny we'll get to all of that. But first, let's meet the rest <laughs> of the right. gang here at Let's Bowl. <laughs> right. He's the guy that keeps our toes a tapping. Please welcome Ernie Jensen. Ernie Jensen! I don't care what anybody says. I love Ernie. And of course, the lovely queen pins. We know them as Amanda and Lisa. Say hi. Yeah. Sometimes I like to pretend that they owe me money and they'll do just about anything to pay me back. All right, let's go ahead and meet our first competitor tonight. She comes to us from Fargo, North Dakota. Anybody she hunts here from Fargo? Fargo? She's hunted both ducks and deer. She uh, has a bowling average somewhere below average. Let's make her feel welcome. It's Ann West. Come on out, Ann. Welcome to Let's Bowl, and nice to see you. Um, so it's the clock thing. You want the clock, he says no. Why do you want the clock? Have you seen it? I have. Well, there's your answer. All right. So, and you, you, you dump this guy, and then you take the clock. Are you some kind of a monster? It depends on who you ask. Well, how do you answer me? <laughs> Maybe. Oh. Oh, yeah, you too good to talk to Wally? Oh. I'm a hipster. I'm too good for Wally. Well, you know what? I got lots of friends. <laughs> All right, Wally. Let's need a new friend right now. He comes to us from across the river in Moorhead, Minnesota. Moorhead. He wishes he lived in England. He prefers Letterman to Leno and says his bowling average is about 100. Please make him feel welcome. It's Derek Wilde. Come on over, Derek. So uh, tell me, is, uh, is Derek or Wilde your real name? Uh, yes, it is. Are you sure it's not like a made-up rock and roll name like Johnny Thunder or Rocco Thruster? Yeah, it's my glam rock name, yeah. I see. So tell me, uh, why did she dump you? Uh, you'll have to ask her that. No, I want to know from you. Why did she dump you? What'd you do? You fart in bed or what? Well, <laughs> amongst other things, yeah. Uh-huh. So tell me a little bit about your side of the, uh, the story uh, here. Basically, I got the clock, and uh, when we broke up, she decided to take the clock with her, said it was a gift. Chopper, these people aren't here for their freaking hell. No, they're not. They're going to win some pretty fabulous prizes. Ernie, tell them what they're going to win. Why, one of them will win a trip to Door County. Yes, a fabulous two-night stay at the Stone Harbor Resort in majestic Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin. This dream weekend includes breakfast for two, free bowling at the Cherry Lanes, and a gift basket. Plus, Ann or Derek, if you beat our league bowler, you'll be tooling around the lake in a 2001 16-foot Crestliner X160, complete with electric Minn Kota 50 turbo motor and Shorelander trailer, provided by R&R Marine in Shakopee, Minnesota. A grand prize value of $3,500. What a great prize. Oh, yeah. That's the kind of that's the kind of boat you get lucky on. Party, that's a party boat. And let me remind everyone that each of our contestants tonight has a chance to use the distraction option. That's right. And that quite simply is this. That's right. When one of our contestants feels the time is right, they can sneak up behind the other just before they release the ball and <laughs> honk the air horn. Hopefully that will mess up their shot, or that's the object of the distraction it option. Works. But they can always only works. use it once per game. All right. Derek bowls first because on Let's Bowl, the person with the least education bowls first. We always like to reward things like that here on Let's Bowl. Got good form going in. Uh, leaves the middle section of pins. I was cleaning my carpet last night and I spilled the chemicals all over the place and fell asleep in it. Here we go. Derek's trying to pick up the spare and uh, not a lot of... Whoa! Not a lot of power on that. Not ball. a lot of power, but he picks up nine pins in frame number one. The biggest fish Ann has ever caught was a 12-pound norther. That's and she bad. describes herself as being physically very flexible. 
very flexible, like a Chinese gymnast. Flexible. Have you seen this clock that they're that they're battling over tonight, Waller? Yeah, yeah, I, I sure have, and it's uh, it's pretty disturbing. I mean, I wouldn't want that in my house. I got enough problems without waking up to that frickin' thing every morning. I guess it plays uh, Beat It in the Macarena. Yeah. Yeah, it does. It, it absolutely does. So wake up and beat it. Uh, let's see what happens here with Derek. Oh, oh strike! He strikes. Oh. Take a look at the replay, Wally. That's this right. is great bowling. And again, here's the reaction to there, and wow. Hey, Wally, you see what I see? I sure do. It's the beer pin. It oh. means it's the beer pin! <laughs> right, whenever the beer pin appears in the head pin position, that means our bowler gets a chance oh, yeah. to win a fabulous prize, oh, yeah. Ernie. That's right. She'll win a home brewing glass starter kit from northernbrewer.com in St. Paul. Plus, they'll even throw in the brewing ingredients. Yum! Beer is good. And not only will Ann get the home brew kit, but so will someone in the audience, Wally. Who's the audience member who will get that beer starter kit? Our lucky drinker tonight is Don Steichen. Congratulations. All right, Ann, it's to you. Oh, um, yeah. Let's go ahead and see if you can get that beer uh, home brew kit, Ann. Get up there and make it happen. We're in beer frame country. We're all about fun here on Let's Bowl with fun and booze. Looking oh. good. Oh, Not no. that good. <laughs> That's too bad. You know, I I was actually, I had money on that frame. What? Yeah. You can't do that. Here we go. There she goes. That looks like a good ball. Oh, ah, there she goes. She got? picks it all up. She spares. She spares. Absolutely. You know, this, this case is about a clock, but it's a lot more than that. So let's take a look at tonight's grievance in the gutter. I know what I'm doing you what I do. I do. I do. Tell me what kind of person Ann is. Bossy, piranha, monkey. Really? Bossy, orangutan. Yes, I am. When she wants something, obviously, she, she's going to get it. Why did you buy Ann this clock in the first place? Well, I didn't buy Ann the clock. You know, he gives you things and then wants to take them back. So he's done it before, with, uh, other than the clock? No, but that one really pissed me off. What, did, uh, what attracted you uh, to Ann? Um... Uh, He's kind of slow. Um, I don't know. Are you looking for a go-getter? Yes, I am. <laughs> what went wrong? I don't know. He went soft on me. She said that you'd gone soft on her. What does that mean? Um, um. Do you think you and I have any chemistry between us? Maybe after a few more drinks, yes. How many more? How many more do you need? Hey, we need some drinks over here. Yeah, all those those girls from Fargo are all party girls, aren't right. they? Catholic school girls. How many drinks? Just enough to make you more interesting. Derek Wildy, who will win this match? I will win this match. In the end, I always get what I want. And don't forget, if you want to learn even more about oh, that boy. grievance, uh, yeah. log on to www.comedycentral.com and you can find out even more about that grievance. After two complete frames, Derek has nine pins, but a strike going into the next frame, and has 28 pins with a spare as well. So that means the pretty close game so Real far. Game. We've got inside bowling yet to come. Great inside bowling. Absolutely it is. Stardust Lanes in Welcome fabulous back. South Minneapolis. Minneapolis, home the, the birthplace of the thermostat and the tater time. <laughs> there you go. Hey, don't forget, the uh, one of our players tonight could implement the Super Strike option. And what that means is if a competitor is down by 20 or more points, the Super Strike gives the bowler double the point value in that frame. That Super Strike's going to share come in handy. That's right. Now, in the third frame, Derek had 58 and had a strike. In the fourth, Derek spared and rolled two gutter balls. Also in the fourth, Wally practiced his pickup lines in the men's room mirror. As frame number five gets underway, we are off and rolling. Here's Derek. I can't believe it. <laughs> Take a look at the replay on this one. Man, Holy Derek cow. is really hot today. He's you know. so hot, they call him Mr. Fahrenheit. Oh, that's funny. All right, here we go. And you should be, you should, <laughs> oh, crap. Three gutter balls in a row. That's darn near a let's ball record. We're going to see if Holy Ann cow. can pick up a spare. All ten pins. <laughs> Ann says she would like to sleep with Johnny Depp and Lenny Kravitz. Well, who would? There we go. There we go. 
she did pick up the spare. Holy cow. Take a look at the uh, replay on this one. Boy, oh boy. Eight is just barely, oh, really barely falls over. And's very happy, yeah. Well, it's not a close game, but it's a good game. It kind of, you know, odd as the, oh. wow. Leaving the seven. I'll tell you what, the seven is like part of the furniture. It's stuck there. It says here in my notes that Derek can fit his whole fist in his mouth. It's odd. It's disgusting. See if he can pick up a spare and knock down number seven back in the back corner. I won't say the whole grapefruit. <laughs> Missed it. Put the Leaving whole thing an open in my frame. mouth. Uh, that puts Derek at 106 to uh, Ann's 38 with a spare. <laughs> yeah, Ann's hoping for the... Uh, the super strike. Oh, it's out. Oh, oh, no. All right. Leaves just a mess. See what she can do here. All right. She really wants that clock. I'm not sure why. Oh. After six, we have 106 to 59. And after the sixth frame, that means it's time for Inside Bowl. That's right, Chopper. <laughs> Let's Bowl fan club member Paul W. Tibbetts writes in, I heard Let's Bowl contributes to charity. Who do you sponsor? Well, we raise money for Junior Bowlers of America through our annual program, Pins for Charity. Let's take a look. Attention, people of Minnesota. This year, Chopper and I went all out and launched a huge publicity campaign to attract tens of thousands to the event located at the Park of Four Seasons mobile home community. Get it in there, come on! Nobody's gonna see Stop this. Complaining. Stop Nobody's gonna see it, Wally. Oh my Just God. leave me alone. Everything I do is wrong, isn't it? Chopper and I pulled out all the stops to make our match a real okay, spit and polish right. event. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. Okay. Hey, welcome, friends, to the Let's Bowl Charity Greco-Roman Wrestling yeah. Exhibition. Yeah. Uh, my name is Chopper from Let's Bowl, and this is my partner, Wally. Hey, how you doing? Okay. Yeah, uh, hey, Wally, how did wrestling originate anyway? Roman Greco wrestling originated in ancient Roman. Say, Chopper. Yeah. What did Caesar Augustus Nelson say to his stepbrother? I don't know. You can't wrestle me. You're only a half Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> and the rest is history. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, anyway. We're going to come out and give you a great wrestling show, but we're going to go in and uh, change real quick. We'll be right back out, okay? Yeah, we'll be, we'll be back. Come on. All right, okay. Come on, All right, Wally, uh, our first uh, little demonstration is going to be the three-quarter lariat. Okay, come on. Come on, you wuss. Give me a minute. Come on, let's fix it up. You and me. Make me sorry I got out of bed. Ow, ow, ow. You jammed my thumb. Oh, I'm sorry. I... God, you made me mad, Wally. Come on, let's oh. fix it up. Come on. portion of the show where we ask someone from the audience to volunteer to wrestle Wally. Yes. <laughs> Who dares challenge me? I do. Okay. Ah, that was a full one. Kick his ass. Come on up here. Go, oh, honey. Go. Oh, oh, God. God. Oh, He's fighting me. Oh. He's fighting my back. Oh. It's been a real pleasure sharing with you all today. Uh, and speaking of sharing, uh, we're passing around the hand. We're hoping you can help out with whatever you have. Thank you, sir. Thank you. The bowling equipment's very expensive. It's a quality program. These little kids, uh, they, is, is that it? Well, at least it looks like there's a couple of Xanax in there. Crap. Okay. Um, now, here's the grand finale. We are going to finish our exhibition with a salute to the very first Olympics in ancient Greece, the way real Roman Greco wrestling is supposed to be performed. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, uh, thank you for coming out. Uh, we had a, a great time and we made some special friends. And then we raised $16 for charity. Right. Yeah, that was the best inside bowling I've seen all day. You're funny, Wally. <laughs> You're getting very right, I'm funny. funny. Very you funny. bastard, I'm funny. Stick around, there's lots more bowling lots coming more. up. I'm going to see what makes these people tick. Get all it? right. <laughs> tick. This <laughs> Welcome back, everyone.
everyone to beautiful South Minneapolis and Stardust Lanes and Let's Bowl. They are battling uh, over the clock. It's Ann who says it's her clock. Yep. And Derek says it's his clock. And uh, that's what the battle is. There's the clock in question right there. While we were away, we had the bowlers continue. And in the seventh frame, Derek had 113 and Ann's total was 67. You know, the hockey hair mullet NASCAR people get a bad rap, but I'd rather have them in my foxhole with these than these hipsters. I mean, can you imagine them raising the flag at Iwo Jima? <laughs> no. Can you imagine them facing Erwin Rommel's Africa Corps? Derek, Derek just picks up the seven. I think we'd be wearing litter holes and going to the book burning if we had to depend on these hipsters. I'm not kidding. Give me seven NASCAR guys with uh, mullets, ape grapes, a couple of cartons of cigarettes, some Mountain Dew, and I'll take over the frickin' world. Derek says he wants to sleep with Kristen Dunst. Kristen Dunst? Yes. Is that the chocolate chip cookie lady? I think. Oh, geez. Oh, Earlier in the game, the number seven pin wouldn't go down, and now it's the only one they can knock down. Right. It's obvious. You keep stating the obvious. We can all see it. <laughs> You're so full of hot air sometimes, Chopper. Oh, wally, wally, wally. You owe me 20 bucks, you know that? <laughs> Here we go. Ann's going to try to pick up a spare, and she's not going to do it at all. Nah. She left the dirty nun. <laughs> left the dirty nun. Derek has 120. Ann has 75. We are moving into the ninth frame. We'll see what happens this time around. Oh my God! He strikes. Good now, strike here. here is a pretty exciting thing because we are going to enact the super strike. Now, Ann has a chance to double the pin value for the ninth frame. All right, so she can get up to 20 points. Come on, Ann, you can do it. You can do it, Ann. Come on, honey, do it. Oh. Take a look at the distraction option. Boy, that's good strategy. Yeah, look at that. Well, he, he, he's smart. Now, she's going to try to pick up this spare. See if she can pick up these last four pins. What she can do here. Oh. oh, she only picked up one more. That's seven. The super strike, in effect, she does get 14. That means the score right now is uh, Derek has 120 with a strike and 99 uh -oh. with the advantage of the super strike. Well, we'll be right back to decide this match, and then the winner is going to go up against the league bowler. Yes, indeed. Lots more exciting fun on Let's Ball. Hot huh, Chopper? You got it, Wally. in Minneapolis and Let's Bowl. Hey, the score right now, Derek has 120 with a strike and 89 as we move into frame number 10. It all happens right here. It looks like Michael Jackson's going to find a new home. I think old Ann and her karma's coming back after dumping poor Diedrich. Deep zone. Deep zone. Derek. Derek, yeah, whatever. Oh, he leaves uh, the right side and then some. It says here that Derek hates cats and loves monkeys. Monkeys are disgusting. Do you like to have a big greasy monkey jump all over your face? No. But I mean, I like Wearing to go to the zoo. Diaper, smelling all like piss. I hate monkeys. Don't get me zoo. started on the monkey thing, Chopper. Just leave it alone. Let it rest. I'll do what I can. <sighs> Derek's final score, 142. Ooh. So she has to get like 300 pins to win or something <laughs> at this point? Tension here is palpable. It's palpable. You just like that word, I think. It's palpable. Oh, that's a good shot. Oh, that's... Oh! Oh. <laughs> Leaves the 10 oh, standing. Man. Take a look at the replay on this one. It looks like they're all going to go down. It looks like a great shot. Oh, we Split, just yeah, yeah. left the one standing. There's a lot of tension here tonight. There is a lot of tension. Like today. a family gathering without booze. <laughs> Come on, Ann. And see if she can pick up the spare. If not, this game is all oh. over. It's all well, over. The final it. score, 142 Derek for Derek, 98 for Ann. Yeah. Derek he, Wilde, tonight's winner. winner on Let's Bowl. All right, come on, on guys. On Derek, Derek Wilde, tonight's big winner on Let's Bowl. Congratulations. Thank How you. you feeling right uh, now? I feel good. Ready to get the uh, clock back here. Yeah, you bowled a good game? Yeah, it's one of my best games I've bowled. All right, well, we've just settled the dispute, that's for yeah, sure. Yeah, here, Ann, take this. It's, it's creeping me out. Now, <laughs> you have to present this to him and apologize. You ready? All right, Derek. You know what? I'm over this clock like I'm over you, and it's time to me for me to get a new clock in my life. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Ann, nobody goes away a loser on Let's Bowl. No. You get the deluxe package of bowling ball, bowling shoes, and a bowling shirt. That's right. Now get the hell out of here. Derek, 
It's now time for you to go for the big prize, the great big boat. Let's bring in our league bowler because John you got to get by this guy. Come on in, John. All right, John. How are you? Welcome, John. Nice to see you. John has a bowling average of 202. He traveled with the Minneapolis All-Stars. Let's see his ring. Get a shot of his uh, 300 ring. So, John, where'd you get that ring? From the ABC. Were you, uh, were you in the war? Yeah, I was overseas in Germany. All right, all right. Are you gonna all right, this, John. Gonna kick this hipster's butt? I hope. Okay, let's go. <laughs> all right, here's what's gonna happen, Derek. John is gonna throw one ball, and what you need to do is match or beat the number of pins he's knocked down. If you do, if you match or beat his score, you get the brand new boat. Holy cow. That's a great one. All right, let's get okay, started, let's shall go. we? John, you got one ball. Let's see what he can do. Come on, John. Great farm. Oh, knocks get... down eight out of ten. All right, Derek, it's your turn. Derek. You know what you have to do. You have to get eight or more to win the boat. Here he goes. He really wants that boat. Here he goes. Holy cow! It's going down the lane. Support your local bowling center right. and tune in again next time for Let's Bowl! Hey, let's go bowling. Everyone. You're watching Comedy Central. Just when you thought these four guys couldn't get any scarier, it's a special Shocktoberific Halloween episode of South Park coming up next. See the ten shiny pins. Take your aim. What a frame. Here's where the fun begins.